I'm Brad Nessler, joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. The wind will play havoc with kicks tonight for our game between the Florida Gators and the Michigan Wolverines. We've got a great bowl game lined up for you here. This one looks to be an incredible gridiron matchup. Here come the Wolverines. The Wolverines come into this game expecting a win. I tend to agree with that. How about you, Herbie? Michigan comes into this one with a good passing attack, and they have a difference maker lining up at wide receiver. In fact, Lee, I think he's one of the best receivers in all the college football. Okay, you ready for my pick? I'm going with the big blue. Michigan has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. And they'll be returning this one. Kane fields it at the one. He jukes. They'll start this drive at the 29. They come out in a nickel. Green, back to pass. Wants to throw outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. Stewart, the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. He'll dump this one off, and it's caught. Carey with a takedown. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision-making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Six DBs in the lineup. Back to pass. He steps up, looking. He gets rid of it. It's deflected. I tell you what, Kirk, if that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. The Gator come out in the shotgun. Down the middle. Carey brings him down. And now he's closing in on 3,500 yards with that last pass. Wow, those are some pretty impressive season totals. Third down and three coming up. This is the fifth play of this drive. Florida lines up in a goal line set. Third and short, and they hand it off. They tried to run the ball for the first down, and they didn't get it. No, sir. You saw the defense just power through their blocks and wham into them. Fourth and one. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Gators are lining up to punt it away. Atkins boots it way up there. Jones calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 12. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping on the receiving team. So clipping on the play will send the offense backwards. You're always taught that if you can see a player's name on his jersey, don't block him. Hey, apparently he didn't see it. And another thing he might not see is more playing time. They line up in an eye. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's stopped behind the line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Yeah, and that time the defense got him to go backwards. Second and 11. Ball on the five-yard line. The Wolverines line up with two tight ends. Rolling out to the left side. The ball is tipped. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. Third it's third down and 11 to go. Ball on their own five. Yeah. 
Michigan lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back, steps up, looks. He's in trouble. Whoa, very close to a safety. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. Hey. The Wolverines are lining up to punt it away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Johnson takes it to 47. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Florida goes with the ace set here. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. That close to being intercepted. Wow. Not a smart pass. He thought he could squeeze it in there. Yes. Now the next time he does that, he better be ready to make a tackle. They'll pick him off if he's not careful. Second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Florida lines up in a shotgun set. And he's taken down. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. It's first and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. They line up in the shotgun. Shake and bake move. And they make the stop. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Second and nine. Ball on the 19 yard line. The Gator line up with three receivers bunch. They snap it to the back. He's on the run. An impressive run as he finds the end zone. Yeah, he's got skills. I wouldn't want to be a defender in the open field with him coming at me. Oh, come on, Scooter. You take him down. PAT. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Number 60 is lined up to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Kaufman fields it at the three. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession, going three and out. They'll get the ball here at the 21-yard line. Michigan sets up with four receivers. He's looking for his man. Jake's off a tackle. Vicker with a takedown. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond him down the field. Second and four. Ball on the 27. From the gun. Drop back to pass. Across the middle. Has it to the senior. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. 
Michigan lines up for the shotgun set. On the ground with a tailback. Sutherland brings him down. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. Second and four. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Wolverine set up in the gun. Throws, and they've got the screen set up. And they got him for a loss. Loss of about two. It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 43. The Wolverine line up in an I formation. They'll run the option. Pitches back. Not much help from his blockers, and he's only able to gain a yard. Michigan lining up the punt. Hine punts it, and it's a good one. Johnson signals for a fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 25-yard line. First and 10. The Gators line up with three receivers bunched. Rolling out to the right side. Find his receiver. And he's tackled. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is the first down. First and 10. Ball on the 44. Green comes to the line with three wide. Throws down the middle. In and out of his hand. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. In second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Green is back in the gun. Green set to go to the air. Fires deep down the left side. Incomplete pass. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys playing football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 44. They come out in a nickel. Back to pass. He's going right. It's deflected. I tell you what, Kirk, if that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. They line up to punt this one away. He gets it off. Fatih fields it at the 13. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. First and 10. Ball on their own 16. They'll work from the shotgun. He drops back. He lobs it left. Got it to the senior. Spin move. And down he goes. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of 10 times. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 27. Number one with three wide receivers. Swings it out to his man on the screen. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. Number one is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. And it's the senior. They'll bring him down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and 10. 
Ball on the 45-yard line. Number one with three wide receivers. And he's hit hard. He just went right through him. Man, who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. Number one lines up in the shotgun. After a quarter of play, our score is Florida, seven, Michigan, nothing. Second and 12 coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Michigan lines up for the shotgun set. Looking. Wants to throw outside. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. The quarterback really lucked out there. I thought they had a chance for an interception, but I'm sure they'll settle for the incompletion. It still was a good play. Third, Third down and 12. And, 12. and this is the sixth play of the drive. And the man at wideout is in a zone right now. Looks, lets it go. With the interception. He's out of bounds. He tried to force that one in there. Yep. And the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback size and even a better catch. One man back to you. Ball on the 10 yard line. Back to pass. Throw short. Complete. It'll go down as a completion, but they won't get much for it. Yep, just a wasted play right there. A second down and seven to go. Ball on the 13. Green is back in the gun. Waits till the last moment, and it's knocked down. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 13-yard line. Bunch formation. They keep it on the ground with their tailback. And he's taken down. Three plays, zero first downs. Not what they had in mind. Well, this defense looks very impressive right now. They suffocated the offense that go around. Florida lining up the punt. Number 89, back to return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Face heat. Fields it at the 37. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 40-yard line. Number one comes to the line with three wide. He's going to go for the home run. It's deflected. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Second and 10, ball on the 40. Number one with three wide receivers. Throws this one out to the right. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Third down and ten coming up. Ball on the 40-yard line. Michigan, in a four-wide set, steps up in the pocket. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now and coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to sneak in a screen pass at a halfback. Let him get behind the rest and then take off behind his blockers for six. Four and 15. Ball on the 35-yard line. They line up to punt this one away. 
They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Johnson takes it at the 23. He broke his ankle. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow ball replay to recap it. They'll set up shot at the 27. Green comes to the line with three wide. Play action. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And down he goes. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback's going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. Second and long, ball on the 19-yard line. The Gators come out in a shotgun. He drops back. He'll dump this one off. Missed tackle. And down he goes. A five-yard gain. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on their own 24. Green has four receivers lined up here. Short toss. The true freshman has it. And that's three and out. And if you're the defensive coordinator, you deserve a pat on the back. The Gators line up to punt. Atkins punts it, and it's a good one. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 32-yard line. Number one lines up in the shotgun. On the ground with the tailback. A little juke. Vicker with a takedown. That's a gain of eight. It's second down and two to go. All on their own 40. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He's looking. Over the middle. He's got his tight end. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Wolverine come out showing three wide. Wants to throw outside. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk, but you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 39. Number one is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. Got him again. Can't wrap him up. Got an opening. The 10. And he's brought down. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. He got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. Hey. 
High formation here. Here's the give. Touchdown, Wolverine. They gave it to the halfback, and he got him the score. Well, this kid's got great vision. He knows how to find the end zone. Tacks on the extra point. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Bussey is lined up to kick this one off. Johnson back to return. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Kane takes it at the four. Fumble, loose ball. It's scooped up. get the ball here at the 21. The Gators come out the shotgun. And they make the stop. The quarterback keeps it and gets five yards. Second down and five. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Gators line up with three wide. Looking. He might not be able to get the pass off. And it falls incomplete. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 26. Florida comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Wants the throw outside. Stanley brings him down. First and ten. Ball on their own 34. They come out of a nickel. Green with a nice play fake. The senior makes the catch. Three yards there on the play. The second down and seven to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Gators come out in the shotgun, throws, and it's caught. He spins around, and he's taken down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision-making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First About two down. minutes before halftime. Green has four receivers lined up here with the throw. Complete to the true freshman. Florida takes a timeout. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 49. Green with four wide receivers. He's looking down the middle. Brought down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll bring in their dime package. He drops back. Looks. He guns it to the right. 
It's deflected. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. So it's second and ten. This is the ninth play of this drive. Ace backfield. Green drops back to pass. He's hit and got away. He unloads it. And he dropped it. Incomplete pass. Jensen, the intended receiver on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Florida sets up with four receivers. Back to pass. He steps up. He lets it go. Someone got a hand on it. Green lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. This one's thrown deep over the middle. And it's intercepted in the end zone. So the defense makes a great play in the end zone and comes away with a pick. And that, my friends, is how you play defense. You make the quarterback think he's got six, then you step in front of the ball and just take it away from him. They'll take over at the 25. Number one is back in the gun. He drops back across the middle, and he brings it down. Johnson with a takedown. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. Michigan calls a timeout. First and 10, ball on the 45-yard line. Ball on the 45-yard line. Michigan lines up for the shotgun set. Back to pass. He passes it. Got it to the senior. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Michigan takes a timeout. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on their own 43. Nickel defense. Drops back to pass, steps up, he's looking. Throws to the middle, got him on the run. Gets past the tackler, and they make the stop. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected him just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of 10 times. The offense better get that defensive tackle blocked up. He can make plays. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Number one lines up in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. Throws. Incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. It's third down and 10. And this is the sixth play of the drive. They come out with four wide out. He steps up, looking. He throws it. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught him very well.
and he hits the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Looks like they're Michigan ready for the kick. Johnson back to return. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Kane fields it in the end zone. This defense did a nice job last time around, forcing the interception. And now you find out how much faith they got in this kid. Do they run the football or they let her rip? They'll set up shot at the 22. At the 22-yard line. First and 10. Six DBs in the lineup. Green with the give. Good move. They'll drop him for a loss. A great defensive effort there. And let me tell you, the key to that play was right there in the defensive line. They tied this offensive line up and allowed their linebackers to come up and make a big play. Lee, I agree with you. We always talk about the linebackers and safeties, but credit the big guys up front for that play. Florida got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it off. Fateet fields it in the end zone. He's hit and got away. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 23. At the 23 yard line. First and 10. The Wolverine come out showing three wide. Short draw. In and out of his hands. The pass falls incomplete. Number 81, the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. The Wolverine come out in the ace formation. Loses the football. McNeil brings him down for a loss. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. Third it's third down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 22. Michigan comes to the line with three wide. Looks, he'll dump this one off. And now he's got room to run. Sutherland brings him down. On third and long, they get the first down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. First and 10, ball on their own 35. Michigan sets up in the eye. He's gonna try to throw. Found his man. They'll bring him down. I don't think the defense was quite ready for that one. They give up a first down and good yardage. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back, steps up, short toss, complete, brought down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and 10, ball on the 33. The Wolverine go with the eye formation, tries to juke, tackle. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Right. 
Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 25. Watch out for the man in wideout. He's feeling it right now. And it falls incomplete. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Wolverines line up in an eye formation. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Wants to throw outside. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Comes in to attempt the field goal, and this will make it a two-score game. It's up. And it's right down the middle. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1946. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it. Johnson fields it at the seven. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll get the ball here at the 24-yard line. Green comes to the line with three wide. Has some daylight. And it's a true freshman. And down he goes. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Florida lined up with three receivers. Throws. And it's caught. Singleton with a takedown. So the defense kept everything in front of them on that play. They didn't pick up much on that play, but if they keep dumping it off like that, the safeties are going to have to creep up. When you force the safeties to play shallow, it opens up a whole other passing game. That's when you hit them with the home run. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 46-yard line. Green with three wide receivers. Kane brings him down. A two-yard run by the halfback. Third it's third down and five to go. Ball right around midfield. Lunch formation. Green steps back to pass. Look out! Batted away. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Gators are lining up to punt it away. Plenty of hang time on this one. Fateet calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 18-yard line. Personal foul. Kick catching interference on the kicking team. 15 yards from the spot of the foul, first down. It's first and 10, ball on their own 33. Michigan sets up in the eye. He steps up, throws this one out to the right, finds his receiver. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of 10 times. First and 10, ball on the 44. Florida lines up in a dime defense here. He's looking. Deep pass down the right side. It's tipped. It falls incomplete. Anderson. 
It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Number one lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Wants to throw outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys playing football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 44. They come out at a nickel. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, throws it out there. Hauls it in for the touchdown. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defender. And he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Back to return. We should have a return on this one. Kane fields it at the one. He jukes it. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They'll start this drive at the 24-yard line. First and 10. Nickel defense. Green to the air on first down. Throws this one out to the left. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. Well, the quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice just working on their timing, and right there it paid off. Second and two. Ball on their own 32. The Gators line up with three wide. Back to pass. Throws a lob pass out to the left. Complete. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And they back up three yards on that play. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. The Gator set up in the gun. He rolls left, looking. Let's it fly. It's it. Almost picked off. They just couldn't capitalize on the bad pass. Yeah, I thought the defender had it, but he couldn't get the pick. They line up to punt this one away. Atkins gets it off. Fate signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 30-yard line. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. They'll set up shop at the 30. One man backfield. They'll throw on first down. Incomplete pass. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Drops back and pass. He'll dump this one off. It's tipped, and it falls incomplete. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. Third and 10. Ball on the 30. on the 30-yard line. 
Number one, back in the gun. He steps up, looks. Long ball, right side. Incomplete. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. Fourth and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Johnson fields it at the 24. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 25. Green lines up in the shotgun. Green on first down. And now he's going to improvise. Higgins with a takedown. He might have gained a yard on that scramble. Second it's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26. The Gators come out in the shotgun. He's looking for his man, and it's caught. Stanley tackles him for a loss on the play, and they'll lose a yard there. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Gators line up with four wideouts. He rifles it to the left. Complete. And he's going to lose yards on this one. They didn't have the ball along there. Having ball control is important in football. And three it out is what you want to avoid for sure. Punt it away. It's off, and it is a dandy. Vatee fields it to 30, makes a move. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 32. The Wolverine set up in the gun, steps up, throws this one out to the right. The ball is tipped, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Pressure that time, and he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. Wow, the kid just avoided getting smacked on that one. Second and 10, ball on their own 32. Michigan lines up with three receivers. He's looking, he's going right, and he's tackled. A seven yard play. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Michigan will line up in a jumbo set here. They'll run for the first on third and short. And they make the stop. Well, Kirky managed to get enough there to move the chain. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. So that brings us to the end of the quarter, and at the end of three, our score, Michigan 24, Florida 7. First and 10, ball on their own 44. Michigan lines up for the shotgun set. Hogan gets another handoff, and he's taken down. Three yards there on the play. It's second down and seven to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Number one with three wide receivers. He drops back. Throws down the middle. Got it to him on the run. To the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Michigan. And he comes up with his second touchdown catch of the game right there. Kirk, this kid is tough to stop. Yeah, you're right, coach. You try to keep tabs on him, but eventually he's going to find a way to get open. I think you need a double team up.
and he hits the PAT. Fourth quarter and more than 11 minutes left, and our score is Michigan 31, Florida 7. Michigan is ready to kick it away. Johnson and Kane back to return. He kicks it. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll start this drive at the 25-yard line. First and 10. They come out with three wide receivers. Green, back to throw. Broke away from one. Brought down. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. One man backfield. Green drops the throw. And now he's going to run. Higgins brings him down. You can't design these kind of plays. You really can't, Brad. That was just great instincts to know where the sticks were. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 37. 37 yard line. Florida comes out of the shotgun. Green back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. And the pass is caught, but he goes nowhere. Yeah, nice job there by the defense to get to him and make the sure tackle before he can make any moves to break loose. Second it's second down and eight. Ball, ball on their own 39. Yard line. The Gators come out the shotgun. Here comes the pressure. The ball came free. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing-ending ones. They'll take over at the 34-yard line. Michigan comes out with an eye formation. Wants to go long and does. Anderson drops the ball. It's dropped by the wideout. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34. They line up in an eye. Back to pass. Rolls to the right. Looking. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. what they didn't Ball want to get in. Ball on the 40-yard line. Number one lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He tosses it short. The senior makes the catch. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is up. And he missed it to the right. They'll set up shot at the 24. Florida in a four wide set. He drops back. He's going left. Here he goes. At the 40, at the 30, to the 20. Singleton with a takedown. That was a big time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, coach. Well, I don't blame them. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing.
take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. Back to pass. He brings it down. Touchdown. That pass found the wide receiver for six. And I think the quarterback has found a soft spot in this defense. The Gator line up in a goal line formation, and he is drilled. Okay, they had to go for it here, but they just couldn't execute. Now you got to forget about that and go out and play some defense. Florida lines up for the kickoff. Kaufman and Fate back deep to return, kicks it off. Kaufman fields it at the two. He jukes. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Yeah, and that poor kicker has to wait on the sideline and hopes he gets a chance to redeem himself after that last miss. Michigan comes out with an eye formation. Hogan takes a handoff. He might have a chance. That's a seven-yard gain. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 28. Michigan comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. They'll keep it on the ground again. They'll bring him down. He got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. We've got third and three here. Ball on their own 28. And this impact receiver is looking to make a play. He's in the zone. It's tipped. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. They line up to pump this one away. Hine gets it off. And this one's going to go out of bounds at the 48. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Single set backfield. Green drops back on first down. And it's caught. Stanley brings him down. Gain of two. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 42-yard line. Three wideouts here. Drops back to pass. And now he's going to run. Kane with a takedown. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Florida sets up with four receivers. Throw. Complete. It'll go down as a completion, but they won't get much for it. Yep, just a wasted play right there. Second and seven. Ball on the 31-yard line. Green comes to the line with three wide. Gets rid of it quickly. Incomplete pass. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys playing football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Hey. 
It's third down and seven to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. They line up in the shotgun. Bad snap. Looks. Throws back across field. The ball is tipped. That close to being intercepted. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. The Gators line up with three wide. He drops back. Breaks one. Throws this one out to the left. And they push him out. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters the most. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 19. Florida comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. He's looking. He steps up across the middle. And it's complete for the touchdown. And that's a second time today. These guys have been able to hook up for the score. Boy, he really looks comfortable in that end zone, doesn't he? Florida sets up with four receivers. Green drops back, steps up, looking. He's rolling left, throws this one out to the right, and they get the two. So with just over two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, our score, Michigan 31, Florida 21. Florida lined up in an onside kick formation. Here's the onside kick. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing ending ones. They'll get the ball here at the 47. The Wolverine set up in the gun. Tackle. Two minutes left in the ball game. Florida calls a timeout. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 46-yard line. Michigan will line up in a jumbo set here. Johnson brings him down. Florida takes a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Michigan comes out in the shotgun. And he's tackled. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 36. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. He jumped. 
knocked him out of his shoe. Florida calls a timeout. Just a minute remains in this football game. Ace backfield. Setting up the play action. Throws this one out to the left. He overshot his receiver by a mile. Whoa, Nelly. Pull back on those reins a bit. Well, we knew this guy had a strong arm, but that was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. Bussey comes out to try a long field goal. This is going to test his power. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's wide right. No good. They'll start this drive at the 33-yard line. Florida comes to the line with three wide. It's tipped. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Yeah, but that defender had a perfect shot at it. He just didn't catch it. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Green, back in the gun, steps up in the pocket. Throws it to the outside. Carey with a takedown. That'll be a gain of three yards. Florida goes with the ace set here. He's looking down the middle. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was the exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. Going with the shotgun here. Drop back to pass. Wants to throw outside. And they push him out. First, First and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Gators come out showing three wide. Green drops back on first down. And they got it. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. Second down, and they got 15 for the first down. And this is the sixth play of the drive. The Gators set up in the gun. Back to pass. Looks. Throws this one out to the right. Tackle. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense. It can open things up for the big play. There's the final gun, and this game is history. Kirk, any final thoughts here? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Florida had a few missed opportunities in this game. I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer, and they might even have won this game. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2006. We hope you all join us again. Again, our final score, Michigan 31, Florida 21. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long, everybody.